Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card Fight Vanguard, Miyagi Academy, Card Fight Club, Booster Pack opening. I just laugh at the fact that I said Card Fight and it also has obviously CF Club in the name, but we have another pre-release or sneak preview upon us. They really are so close together with all these booster packs. It's quite crazy, but this is a big uh, main booster set. Uh, this one actually has five different clans in it. All the other main booster sets uh, before this one for standard format had four uh, clans in them. So I'm guessing, you know, just with uh, less support for some of them and then more for obviously the new uh, clans they're introducing, uh, Narukami and Nubatama in this set. It's a really awesome set. Uh, each member of the Card Fight Club's uh, clan is in this uh, set, along with the uh, trial decks that come out to support two of the decks in it as well. So with each uh, opening, uh, as always, we have the entries and the, as I grab them over here, prize packs to go through. So and for a good opening. Uh, for the promo this time around for Sneak, we have Golden Beast Rampage Turtle for Gold Paladins. I always have no clue what the promos are going to be for uh, these things until I obviously open them up. And can't get a really good view because of the camera, but the playmat this time around has uh, Monarch Alfred on it. Just Monarch Alfred. Interesting what makes them choose, you know, what clans obviously go on which uh, ones. But I guess if you're a Royals fan, then definitely a perk there. But let's go ahead and get started with the opening and see what we get from these packs. I'm curious if they've also changed the ratio, because normally with the main booster sets, you only get one Vanguard Rare per uh, kit. I'm curious if they bumped it up since there's obviously five in the whole set. I guess we'll just have to find out and go through all these. We have Crescent Magus, Knight of Vigorous Strength, Bellinus, Espogol, uh, Stealth Beast, Kokushigarasu, sorry about that, Dragon Dancer, Katarina, uh, very nice front trigger there. We have Stealth Rogue of the Night, Sakura Fubuki, and let's see if I got a... Nope, we didn't get the Vanguard Rare in the first pack like I've been doing with this set. We have a Topaz Witch PB for Oracle Think Tank. So we have Witches and Magus this time around for Oracle Think Tank as well. So very, very cool how they're kind of branching out into the subclans for those decks as well. So we'll go through the commons. I'll you know, point out any noticeable ones, of course. Triggers, you always get the two, uh, usually, but not this time around for some of the clans. But we got Stealth Dragon, Kurogane. We have Knight of Exemplary Sword, Lucius. And we have our first foil for Nubatama, Stealth Beast, Mijin Gakur. So this is a very, very nice uh, looking one for sure. I definitely think they upgraded the art for Mijin Gakur since his last one for sure. Very nice start though. Like I said, I hate when we get the big foils out of the way real quickly in these openings but i've been excited for this set um i don't know i think my main thing i'll try and build from it is magis just with uh, oracle think tank might build some of the other decks we'll see tempest stealth road fuki redone for nubatama stealth dragon dan breach and here's the my favorite heal trigger from the set stealth fiend zashiki hime we have a knight of vitality brenius for our rare and we have our first triple rare, which is Tetra Magus for Oracle Think Tank. She used to be a perfect guard, remade her into a grade one. Love the foiling, though, with her. Really works with the color scheme, I'd say, for sure. Let's keep going, see how we do. This is the last one from this entry, so we'll see how we end it. Another Crescent Magus. Electra Chase Draco Kid. I thought it was the starter for Narukami but it is not. Stealth Beast Tobihiko remade that critical trigger as well. We have Hammer Knuckle Dragon for the rare, and Stealth Beast Etikon for the perfect guard for Nubatama, the rare. I thought it was for Narukami, but I'm gonna get so many of those mixed up with this set, just being the fact that we have two Dragon Empire clans. But we also have, obviously, three United Sanctuary, but I can kind of tell apart. Like, obviously, I could tell this is Gold Paladin, and this one is Royal Paladin, just on the color schemes. But Narukami and Nubatama, a little more difficult with some of their cards. But very, very cool. We have Malevolent Jin for the trigger for Narukami. We have Stealth Dragon, Void Master, remade into a rare for Nubatamas. But still, love that they included this guy, since he was one of the original Nubatamas. And we have Stealth Dragon, Magatsu Breath. So this is part of the ride chain for Magatsu Storm, which they decided to put into Nubatama, since I think that was the original plan for the Magatsu line, um, until they, you know, obviously made Murakumo later on in set five of the original Vanguard. 
Very, very cool though. Let's see, next pack. Uh, yeah, they got these 12K starting off too. No shield grade twos, but 12K base power. Interesting how they are be doing those too. Good for Vanguard rides for sure. Malevolent Jin again. Dusty Plasma Dragon for our rare. And we have our, uh, not our, but another triple rare, Stealth Dragon, Magatsu Gale for Nubatama. Awesome. Like I said, really do love this foiling. I thought it was just on Tetra Magus, but it looks really good on that card too. All right, so we got two more packs from this entry. I want, I'm curious to see what the entry will look like for the, um, what is it? The... Vanguard Rare, the one that it comes in, because usually that one has so many other foils as well that it's unfair for other people who enter. We have Lightning of Hope, Helena, and Stealth Fiend Oboro cards. They included him. He even looks more menacing in this foil, in this uh, art. I was going to say rarity, but very, very scary. Now that is just, yeah, nightmare fuel. Removing him from the screen. That is quite scary. I don't have a garbage can nearby, so I just have garbage piling up. I'm going to have to organize that after this last pack. We have a Gifted Knight, Emerus, and we have Flame, Wind Lion, Wonder Ezel. So the Ezel deck is going to be pretty good, too, with all this support. We just got support for Gold Paladins and all this new support as well. But Takedo, I would say, is you know obviously this unit, um, but very, very cool. So, so far, for two entries down, doing pretty well on foils, I'd say. This is a big set, no doubt, as well. You can just add on for a bunch of clans. Oh, very, very cute for Oracle Think Tank. Let's see. Kabuki Kongo, he made into a grade two common. i definitely say that was a downgrade from his original card. We have another Eticon and a all-out knight, Ethels, for a gold paladin. one we'll see how we do we have a demolition dragon for narukami and we have dream painter for i think this might be our first royal paladin uh hollow but this one works in the soul i believe on rear interesting card for sure i know the really good uh royal paladin cards are definitely going to be uh knight of i think it's friendship k and bedivere is the other name that he wore they work well together just good Royal Paladin support with Monarch as well. Stealth Rogue of the Night, Sakura Fubuki. And we've got, oh, nice, Detonix Stinger Dragon. That's a good one to pull. This works well with Drill Dragon, which I believe is the Vanguard Rare for Narukami in the set. But that card looks so cool. Awesome. Narukami, the, I was always a fan of the Detonix cards, so I'm really glad that they got the, you know, treatment they deserved in this set for uh, Narukami. Definitely well-deserved at that. Zashiki Hime, we've got another, nope, this is not the same Nightmare Wheel. Stealth Rogue of a Thousand Blades, Obo Razakura, and a Sprout Witch Roro for our rare. So we got three down on to the fourth one. Try to at least, like I said, point out all the commons that I can with each one, so I don't miss any. We've got another Hammer Knuckle. And, oh, nice for our Vanguard Rare. Actually one I wanted, because obviously, like I said, this is what I wanted to build. But Pentagonal Magus is the Vanguard Rare we pulled. Yeah, I would first notice because of the texture on the card. Sweet. This is going to be a really, really good card. Really, really broken just because all the drive checks you get from this card. Insane amount. But very, very nice. Glad I pulled that for sure. And wait, that was the first pack. So we don't even know if this is going to be a broken entry or not. Let's find out. From the next pack, let's go through it quickly. Yeah. Have I seen Fumino yet? Can't recall. Let's see, we've got a Stellar Magus for the rare. That might be our first one. And, oh, yep, we got another foil in the same one as Pentagonal. Sure, a Stealth Dragon, Kujikiri Kongo. Glad they made this guy. This is probably the budget version of Nuatama I'll want to build just for myself. I'm not a big fan of the Magatsu Storm line, but Kabuki, uh, Kujikiri Kongo. See, so yeah, I... Remember him because he worked with Kabuki Kongo in the old Limit Break. That's definitely one I want to try out. We've got a Knight of Vitality, Brennius, and a Dusty Plasma Dragon for the rare. So for the next pack. This is the last one. Otherwise, I'd say it was an, you know, a pretty standard entry along with Pentagonal. Let's see if this last pack shows us the broke. 
We've got a Stealth Rogue of the Night, Sakura Fubuki, and we have a Rhombus Magus. So we did get three foils from one entry that included the uh, Vanguard rares. I'd say, you know, compared to other ones, definitely unfair still, but very nice double rare for sure. So we're halfway through the entries. Don't forget, we'll have the prize packs at the end as well. So I'm curious to see what the ratios will be for those. Let's go ahead and get through these entries. See how we do. Always careful not to damage the cards, but I usually tend to avoid it. Oh, there's Shift Gall. Now look at that slightly. <laughs> it did not look like Shift for a second. Sorry about that. Mind was wandering. We've got a All Out Knight, a Thels, and a Swordsman of Explosive Flames, Palamedes. Very nice. Even shifted the camera there with that shiny foil. But uh, for Soul Saver decks, definitely a good backup grade three for sure, I'd say. No doubt there. A lot of adorable cards in the set, even for like Narukami and Nubatama. Definitely adorable. Stellar Magus, and we've got, there he is, Knight of Loyalty Bedivere for Royal Paladin. So we just got Pool K, which is also a triple rare in this set. They definitely were upgraded from what they used to be. I think they were 10K and 12K attackers originally in Awakening of the Twin Blades. In this set, definitely the upgrade in effects as well. We've got Demolition Dragon and Stealth Rogue of a Thousand Blades again. Last one from this entry. Oracle Guardian Bia, definitely a interesting looking grade three. We've got Sprout Witch, Roro, and we have Crimson Lion Beast, Hoel, for Gold Paladin. Awesome looking card for sure. I think that, yeah, that was in, I think it might have been BT14, where that card was originally in. Ezel Raven Hair, I was going to say Ezel Scissors. Nope, it's Raven Haired Ezel that's in this set for uh, Gold Paladin. Toby Hibiko. Sword Lucius. And oh, nice, we did get two Vanguard rares. So they up the ratio. That's good to know, at least. Because if it was going to be a main booster set and just have, you know, one Vanguard rare, I'd say that'd be kind of disappointing. But we did get two. Awesome. Monarch Sanctuary Alfred. That surprised me there. Sweet. Very, very nice. That's very, very good looking card, too. The color scheme in the background and just, you know, the armor he wears, obviously. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Monarch Sanctuary Alfred was also a gold paladin. Uh, back in uh, Limit Break format, remade into Royal Paladin for this set. Very, 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 very cool. Kind of conflicts with how you can use them, obviously, because you have the old Monarch Sanctuary Alfred that can only work in Gold Paladins, but this one, the same card name, but for Royals, if you know what I mean. But I'm glad they did up the ratio. Topaz Witch PB and Knight of Exemplary Sword Lucius again. But I'm curious if they bumped it up to three like they do with the extra boosters. We've still got plenty of packs to go through to find out. And we'll see. Briolette Magus was remade into a common. I just love comparing to the old cards, so I do apologize about that. Hammer Knuckle Dragon. And we have Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. Uh, now this one, I'd say, is a backup card for Narukami. It was originally, you know, a main, but very, very nice that they at least included him in the set, along with the Datonix cards. For those that were fans of Breaker Limits and the fact that he was in that set. Let's see how we do. We've got a Topaz Witch PP again. And we have Scarlet Witch Coco. I love that they included the witches in this set too. And this art on her looks amazing. So much better, I would say, with the color scheme being a little brighter with her. Very, very nice. Awesome. We're getting a good amount of foil ratios. I think it still is the standard. But, like I said, the fact that they bumped up the Vanguard rare ratio for sneaks, definitely well worth it. Let's see, we've got a Stealth Dragon Dreadmaster. And a Rising Phoenix. I remember it being a 5k, but now it's an 8k drop zone effect. I think it gets uh, yep, a call to rear effect. Nice. So we got three more packs from this entry, and then we got one more and the prize packs. So we'll see how we do. We got another Zashki Hime. We got Stellar Magus. And a Knight of Vitality, Berenius. Yeah, definitely happy with the two Vanguard rare pulls. So definitely worth it there. Especially since I got one for a deck I'm looking to build. Dusty Plasma Dragon. 
and we have Wisteria Witch Zozo. Now this one, yeah, definitely um, very, I don't think we've had this card before. I think Nana was the backup one we had with Scarlet Witch, but very, very cool. Cause then you could obviously build a witch deck. If you don't want to spend the money on Magis, you have that option to go for with this set as well. All right, last one from this entry. We've got a Stealth Beast, Eticon. And, oh, nice, we did get three Vanguard Rares. So they bumped the ratio, that's so cool. And we got, <laughs> Three of, I think, the coolest ones in the set for sure. Uh, obviously, Magatsu Storm and Detonic's uh, Drill are very, very cool as well. But happy we got these ones. Raven-Haired Ezel. This one looks so badass um, for Blonde Ezel. Loving it. Awesome. So we did get three. Very, very nice. It was the gamble I was willing to take because I wasn't sure. But I'm glad they ended up doing it. Because I think people were complaining, you know, from the main booster sets, only having one Vanguard Rare in the set. That was definitely not cool on their part, I'd say. Because to only pull one, very, very sad. Let's see, we got a couple more packs from the last entry. We've got Stealth Dragon, Dreadmaster, and we have Great Silver Wolf Garmor. I honestly thought it was a secret uh, Vanguard rare, just how shiny it was. But yep, Garmor, also getting some nice reprinted treatment or, you know, remade for standard. Cool. You have so many options now to work with and Gold Paladin. You can, you know, basically choose whatever grade three lineup you want. You can go with Ezel, you can work with Pelinor, Garmor, you name it. That's so great that they did that. Here's the scary looking cart. And we have Wyvern Guard Gold. So I don't think there are that many perfect guards in this set because we already have them for three of the clans. They're not gonna give us new ones. Just Narukami and Nubatama, I believe. All right, last pack. See how we end this, but don't forget we got the prize pack still to go through. We have a Gifted Knight, Emerus, and a Stealth Dragon Dreadmaster, set one. Remember it, because that's where I saw them. All right, last packs, the prize packs. We already got the Vanguard Rares, but let's hope for maybe at least a triple still from these also. Let's see, pack number one. We go with a Stealth Dragon Void Master. And we got a double, Flame, Wind Lion, Wonder Ezel. Takedo, in other words. Let's pull, we already pulled Bedivere, let's pull K to go with those triple rares. We have a Lightning of Hope, Helena. And oh, Dragonic Dread Scythe, I'll take that. Still a good one there for sure too. Nice. Pulled that triple, at least we got that promised. And we've got a Gifted Knight, Emerus again. And, oh, nice! We ended up pulling a Secret Vanguard Rare too. Awesome! And it's Drill Dragon. That is so cool. Sweet! I, I asked for a triple and I get more than I asked for. That looks so beautiful. Awesome. Nice. That is cool. I, probably one of my luckiest kits I've had for a while. So sweet. Love the border, color scheme, everything about the card. Great. Awesome. That is so cool. Definitely a great way to end this. For sure. Now I'm just excited to get my boxes. I can't wait. The set's been so cool so far. Stealth Beast, Eticon, and All Out Knights, Ethel. That was not expecting it. Because I always thought that the Secret Vanguard Rare still takes up a Vanguard Rare spot. Unless you are guaranteed to pull four now. That's insane if you are, Demolition Dragon. And Stealth Dragon, Magatsu Breath. That is so sweet. And we got two left. Let's see how we wrap this up. We've got a uh, Obo Razakura and a Sprout Witch Roro. Last pack, I'm just so happy with this one. You obviously can see that, but last pack. Let's see how we end this. We've got a Hammer Knuckle Dragon and we end with a Dream Painter. But I am, like I said, blown away with just the pools we got and this at the end made it so worth it as well that I'm just happy with the pools thus far. That was great. Not gonna, you know, lie. Pretty awesome. And until next time, like I said, kind of shaking from those pools, but you know, that was great. Very, very happy. 
But until next time, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.